I want to get on a bike. Is that a caddy? Look at my caddy. It's my caddy. Oh, that's not a cat, it's a drag. My bad. Oh, no. Your fault. It's oh, all you your fault. fault. It's oh, all your fault. fault. See, that's why you don't need to eat no more. You over there got hiccups. Who's burping? The cat. Has the cat stopped burping? Yeah, she's done. Okay, great. This week's episode of Two Freckled Friends is brought to you by Gas X for Cats. It doesn't work for humans, and it damn sure won't work for them. Isn't that right, Brooke? Leave my cat alone. Hold on, crackhead is outside yelling. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Allie. And Brooke. Thanks so much for tuning into this brand spanking new, fresh off the chopping block just for you because we're not having that much fun making this shit because we have no lives. Stand still and let me flick your ear. If you love cats and gassy ones, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that big, beautiful, juicy red button. And don't forget to click on that bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new content right here on TFF. This week, I need you to channel your inner Caucasian lottery winning extravaganza. All money, no bills, no parents, no rules. Who needs an allowance when you've got your own check? Brooke, tell the good folks out there what we're watching. We are watching 1994's Blank Check. I watched it as a kid. Love Loved it as a kid, have not seen this movie in a solid 20 to 25 years, and to be honest, I don't remember much of this movie. <laughs> He had a Macintosh computer. I remember that too, because like in my mind, Macintosh was the only computer and I thought, oh, well, because we didn't have a computer at the time. So I thought, oh, well, if I have a Macintosh, then I'm cool. And then we ended up getting a Macintosh, but it was those super old 1980s Macintoshes and you couldn't really do anything on it. I remember like flashes of scenes. I feel like I'm gonna dislike this movie now. I feel like it's gonna make me mad. If you're brand new to us, we watch the film. Brooke and I will give our own thoughts and then we're gonna hit the blank check with its official Freckle score. Without further ado, the 1994 Walt Disney Pictures live action every 90s childhood dream classic blank check. Spoiler <laughs> Let's roll the beautiful bean footage. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Bush's country style baked beans are slow cooked according to our secret family recipe. The secret family recipe starts with beans and bacon. Aw, oh, you're no fun. This will be fun. It's spinning. <laughs> I feel like I always miss the castle. Yes, you do. I will never get the castle. It's like miss that. Oh, uh, well, there was part of it. It's like a 90s action film. Sounds like we're about to run into Jurassic Park. why when people are on the run, they think go to the train tracks. And run on the train tracks. Hold on, he's doing a lot of shit to just break out of prison somewhere. And we magically have welding skills. Maybe he was welding in prison. Hmm. So the money was waiting for you. Look at the old dollar bills. Did you miss me? Why do they always kiss the money? Like, that's disgusting. I don't know where that shit's been. He has freckles. I've given this some time. Since Damien and Ralph have their Is that a rooms. pug's nose? Mm, no. Out of the way. Oh, it kind of is puggy. Oh, don't like Damien. This is my room. <laughs> yeah, he does have a pug nose. Quarters of hand and foot incorporated. Foot, hand and foot, hand and foot. You guys aren't going to make a dime. We'll use this. Yeah. This is my life savings. Oh, that's big move going. <laughs> Great. Dad, since Damien and Ralph have their own room. Preston, they need the space for their business. Well, you're in here playing. Your brothers are hard at work. Kissing butt for money. That's what right. Thank God I was never the third child. Business. Clean wheels. Don't wish for a job. The job market is tough. Surprise. Hey, Preston, maybe you could teach your brothers how to use it. Not possible. Oh, those were the days. Preston, honey, you're going to be late for Butch's birthday. Who wants to celebrate Butch's birth? Damien and Ralph flee butt to face. But to face. That's pretty smart for that time. Good job, kid. 
Ow. Don't rub it. Be a man. Excuse me? The fuck? Bully ass kids. Three boys though? Oh man. That's a lot. Yeah, that's tough. Rocky 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 What's Every going on? Every good upper class white family had a Volvo station wagon. All of them. Fun, fun, fun for everyone. Them shorts. <laughs> oh, look. It's Presto the Pesto. For everyone. <laughs> Give me 50. It's my birthday. 50 and 94 is a lot. This morning, Americans are paying the price for rising inflation. From the grocery store to housing and transportation. Six, please. Six. What the hell are you gonna do with six tokens? Coming. Uh, oh, that's uh, I. Uh, I've been there before. I would be so fucking mad. Damn. He only got six tokens. But look at his face. Yes, Wet cotton candy? I have a question. Are we broke? <laughs> if we're not poverty stricken, there must be some other reason I'm so deprived. Fly here! Go into the ball game. You need some cash? We got a bunch of change. Why can't I have anything? They have jobs and they've learned to sing. And yet you offer them cash! He sure did. What do you want for your birthday? Money. So I can pay to have Ralph and Damien knocked off. You wonder why Gen Z is so money driven. How to turn a hundred bucks into a thousand. Uh, I'll tell you how to turn zero into a thousand. Gift came from grandma today. What a ripoff. It's a check for nothing. Oh, your grandma just forgot to fill in how much it was for. She signed it at the bottom. Blank check. Ten dollars. Wait, Dad, what about inflation? Oh, make it eleven. Eleven dollars at three point four five percent interest. This adolescent child is doing Excel functions, calculating money. He's a smart little kid. Lights out up there. Why? My house, my rules. That, that is no reason. Drop in the comments if you grew up with a computer in your room. Specifically, '90s kids. We're not talking tablet era Gen Z. Yeah, y'all weird. That house is so out of place. My money is your money. Of course you qualify for the- Oh, that's rude. You don't look happy to see me. Quick, Quigley. That's funny, I don't remember you stuttering on the witness stand. You just sang like a bird, didn't you? You also pointed at me. That hurt. Come here. The only reason you're alive, Biederman, is I knew I might need you again someday. Before I went away, I settled in nest day. These pills are more consecutive. They trace these in a minute. That's where you come in, old buddy. You're just smoking in my office? Whatever. We're back in the SNL business, Biederman. Money laundering is very difficult these days, Cole. You still do it, though, don't you? I'll send my guy in tomorrow with a check for tomorrow. a million. You give him the cash, unmarked, send him on his way. Whom should I expect? His name is Juice. He'll be here in exactly uh, 24 hours. That's so stereotypically black. Call the pizza man. He don't come around here no more. Whoa. Too old for you. That's a been around the world. I I I. Very posh spice. Hi. Preston. Can you see okay? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, sure. I can't stand you. I would like to open an account, please. Eleven dollars. I'm afraid we have a minimum balance. It's two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars? That could take a million years. Whenever you're ready, please come back and see me, okay? My name's Shay Stanley. Ask for me. Them chap lips. He got eleven dollars. No chapstick. Then no wonder the kid's struggling. Kid is struggling. I wonder. Does the mom work? You got three Girl, kids. You saw three that boys. House. Live a soft life, baby. Hashtag soft life. Cheers. Here, you can use these checks. They're temporary. This kid. Give it to me. I want to beat his ass myself. Watch, give it to me. I want to get on a bike. Is that a caddy? Look at my cat. It's my caddy. Oh, that's not a cat's a jag. My bad. Oh, no. Your fault. It's all your fault. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. What the hell do you think you're doing? You hit me. What the fuck you mean? What do I think Where I'm doing? You almost hit me. I'm about to sue your ass. He's perfectly all right. No, aren't you? Fuck this. See how adults used to treat us in the nineties. What about my bike? Kid, was I the one who parked there? Are you all right? Good. I think this guy's been drinking vodka. <laughs>
I don't drink at all, seriously. You better snitch. How much you want for the bike? A thousand bucks. I'm not talking to you. You just had a birthday, Butch. Go the fuck away. Actually, no, Butch can stay right now. <laughs> Ooh. And give him his $11 back. Do this to your dad. He'll know what to do with it. I can go. I thought we understood about taking care of our valuables. Oh, Lord. It was a piece of junk. If that's how you feel about a gift from your parents, I don't see giving you a new one for your birthday. I'm warning you, you're on thin ice as it is about the bike. What I want my own house my rules my money does she have a perm but straighten her bangs that's a hell of a bouffant oh 90s come on that Why? hairstyle's in red dead ain't it we know our song is a good one mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one yes, yes ma'am let liberty reign <laughs> Fred. White women, why y'all keep doing it? Preston, I get it, bro. You are child number three. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. So hold on, who does he share a room with? Because I thought the two brothers have their own. Blank check. Now he shares the brother's office in his room now. So I think that's just reignited oh. it. Oh, that's some shit. That's disrespectful. Right. So if the three children have their own room and the parents have a room and they probably have a guest room, that's five bedrooms minimum. Get the fuck out of here. Give that boy some money. Yeah. I would be asking the same questions. Are we poor? Because it don't look like it. In that huge cluttered house. In that old mouse. Oh, I hated that thing. <laughs> Yep, playing around with fonts. Oh, this is this is taking me back. Remember the paint app? It was built into every Windows computer. Of course. One million dollars. That's right. Take all that. I mean, look, money. I'm not mad at the hustle. He did hit your bike in a Jaguar. Hey, yeah. He was rude. He tried to brush you off. Ran before the cops could come and file a report. Oh, ah, baby! We only got one chance to print this right. You better make sure that shit's aligned. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty today. Can people send million dollar checks? Absolutely. Can people send million dollar checks to cash? Absolutely. In this day and age, people will probably just ACH wire transfer it. He does have a little pug nose. <laughs> Let's cash that bitch. Time to party. You gotta fight for your right to party. Hey, Sonny. Cashing a big one today? Sort of. Over here, young man. Oh, well, can't go see Shay. Uh, I like to. Cash this check, please. Oh, a comedian. Then we better take it to Mr. Biederman. Come on, hey, Mr. Biederman. Someone thinks this is some kind of game. I see. Did the ink smear? Ink on ran. The cash? It sure did. It yes, sure did. Please. <laughs> Juice. No thanks. I'm not thirsty. <laughs> not thirsty, Mr. Quigley. Give you this check. He did. How did you run into Mr. Quigley? I didn't. You ran into me. <laughs> Oh, Lordy. Oh, oh, mm -mm. I suppose you want big bills. Actually, regular size would be okay. Regular size. Put your backpack on the table. Now, here's the thing can a million dollars in cash fit in that backpack? we about to find out. I assume you know what to do with this. Uh huh. Yeah. Next. Look here, sweetheart. Mm, look kind of good. They got your pearls and everything on. My name is Juice. What do you want? A million bucks? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> go see Biederman. Chop, chop. Come on. Hurry up. Time to go shopping. Okay. She's just letting him go on his own? Yeah, now you know that's random. Not escort yeah. that black man to the head of the bank's office. With no ID, your ass ain't gonna last here another second. I'm gonna need to see some ID. Okay, Summer's Eve? Go now. Boom, stupid sweet. Oops. What's wrong with you, little boy? What you doing out of school anyway, huh? Why are you asking you know me questions? You're a crook. And you talk about staying in school? Hand me my shit. Out of here, part of to get upset. Hurry up. Run, Preston, run! Go shopping. Go shopping. Go shopping now. Boys are How may I help you, sir? Big juice, man. Quickly sent. Everything is fine. The eagle has landed. The chicken is in the pot. No, not about no chickens being in the pot. <laughs> chickens go in. Ah, come out. 
I cashed a check right there. I could be on my way. Quickly sent you. Got the kid. What kid, man? I'm the kid with the backpack. If you don't give me the money for that check, there's a bullet with. You think his breath smells bad? Mentos, the fresh maker. Hello. Good afternoon. I'd like to make a cash offer on your house. One. Sixty. What kind of hustle is this? And what's with your voice, pal? Sore throat itis. <laughs> One eighty. Talk that stuff. Plus closing cost. He is a smart little kid. Honey, I have a few errands to run. I'll be back by two. Make that three. <laughs> Killing me on this deal. <laughs> I have an offer on the table at three hundred. Ooh, I'll take it. it. You probably won't live to enjoy the cash. Oh shit! Ooh. Just one thing, sir. What is your name? <laughs> That's right. Bingo. My name is Macintosh. Congratulations, Mr. Macintosh. You have a house. Yes. Oh, I always wanted to do that. He gave all your money to a little old bitty boy. I worked hard to steal that money, Beerman. In Indiana? The boy had a check signed by you. Said I didn't write it. You gave me the checkbook. I put it in my pocket. I got in my car. I... Mm-hmm. I can't feel my legs. I... Oh, oh. I've got a surveillance photo of the boy. I recognize him. I know him anywhere. Looks like that. <laughs> Somebody's in there with Biederman now. The money laundering is definitely on again. Now it's time to have some fun. You make sure you know who plays ground. And he goes to bed early. Ugly ass <laughs> Who would build such a hideous house in the middle of suburbia like that? Do you want to take your mitts off the car, please? I'm waiting for a client here. But I'm your client. Oh, right, yeah. And I'm Madonna. Buccarini, some moolah, some dinero, some money. I was just kidding about being Madonna. Mm -hmm. My name's Henry. Henry, you're fired. I'm getting a new yeah. one. Pop in. Henry, I'm gonna go buy some stuff. Let's go buy some stuff. Shopping. What up? Brooke, where's the first store you go to if you had that backpack? I definitely would have gone to the toy store. <laughs> I would have gone to Toys R Us. Drop in the comments which store you go to if this was you in that backpack. Ooh, look at that super soft car! Yep, go ahead. Aw, he made a friend. Spoiler alert, they're about to stop at one of your all-time favorite places. Hey, please, come out, Henry! Oh, right on! <laughs> You buy the whole container, bro. The whole tub. He got the whole <laughs> tub. Well, why does he get a kid like you to go out and buy all this stuff for him? He never had a real childhood, so now that he's really, really rich, he can have all the fun that. Can't even eat it all. Can't talk. Oh. Getting brain oh, freeze. Pull over, Henry. Check. That's not freak at all. Oh. You scared me. Sorry. Preston, right? You've got a good memory. Thanks. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Uh, it's my boss, Mr. McIntosh. I'm thinking about coming into the bank tomorrow and opening my account. Wow, you got the $200 already? Just about. See you tomorrow. Bye. Since when did the bank become the hangout spot? Hello, thank you, and good night. Your income and your position has to be LinkedIn level. This person is VP of Mergers and Acquisitions at Bank of America. Some kid who came in the bank today it says it belongs to his boss. Her name Macintosh. They're craning in a water slide. He's doing some serious work. Preston? Hi, Dad. Who is moving in? Macintosh. Who is Macintosh? I work for his thing. You mean you haven't met him? No, I haven't met him. He's heard about you. Really? <laughs> but we're boys. Could you clear a path, please? Yeah, move on it. I'll set, Dad. Bye, Dad. Oh, go karts. Oh, how much fun! A go kart track in your backyard. Come on. <laughs> oh, punch out. Hey. Yep, yeah, I tap my office up the same way. Hey. Is something wrong? No, uh, I was wondering who can spend cash like that. Man's name is Macintosh. Macintosh? Mm. Apparently loaded. Apparently. 
See anybody looks like him? He looks like him. She looks like him right there. All the white kids look alike. Must be crazy. I'm gonna get on the water slide. I'm finna get on the water slide. He says he knows you, boss. Oh? oh. Just, just throw him out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to see you here. Mm, this is doing? so weird. I came by to see Mr. McIntosh. He's in meetings all day. All day? Twelve. This is where you work? Not too shabby. Comfortable. Do you still want to open up an account with me? Yeah. That's how you know it's childlike. Just leave the backpack with the money. And it's wet. You know, I'd love to meet him. How's tonight? I'm sorry, he's busy. Too bad. But I'm not. <laughs> oh, okay, it's a date then. A date? I'm gonna tell you about the real deal on dating. Women love a great body. They love, look at this bod. Date, the perfect date for you guys. Uh, stay right. Kevin! My little friend, you really have the hots for this one, huh? <laughs> Would this fly if the roles were reversed? Absolutely if this not. was a little girl? Absolutely not. Oh, I bet you that's fun. <laughs> why kids socializing and having friends is important because the only friend Preston has is Henry. He doesn't decide when my son is or isn't grounded. So much for plan 442. What do you know about plan 442? Your prospectus. Prospectus. I told Mr. McIntosh and he was very, very interested. Let me get you a fresh copy of the prospectus. No, prospectus. Ah! Go. You want the car keys? You want the car keys. How old is this child? 10? You know, 11. Just like the number he wrote on the check. Made of toads. <laughs> Guess what, fellow freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. ko-fi.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, no worries. Brooke and I are having so much fun making these episodes. We're going to make Two Freckled Friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, ko-fi.com forward slash two freckle friends. Again, Kofi.com forward slash two freckle friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. Thank you. That's enough. Oh, sorry. <sighs> I can't believe Mr. McIntosh went to all this trouble. Mr. McIntosh has been eating here for years. I thought he just moved here. There was a tangerine where I used to live. A tangerine where I used to live. Mr. McIntosh wanted you to have this. Ooh, this is getting a little weird. That's what I'm saying. Oh, no. no. This is beautiful. But I can't accept this from you. Just a little business gift. I mean, it's deductible. Where's he learning it's all this? It's deductible. I'll find all your tax deductions. Can you write off like a million nachos? It's way too expensive. Mr. McIntosh has a million dollars. You know, a million dollars doesn't buy all that much these days. What exactly does he do anyway? Move this little that. Okay. Is he an entrepreneur? No, he's American. <laughs> Are you married? No. Mm. So again, if this was an 11 year old girl doing this, how would this work? These are pretty personal questions. Granted, of course, an 11 year old girl wouldn't be taking some guy out to dinner. This is kind of hard to watch. I'm like, what? Yeah. It is. Are you okay? Hi, hamburger. I love hamburgers. A few moments later. See, this would have been different. More suitable. Two, one. I hope the FBI is paying her enough. This did look fun as a kid, though. Oh, no, this is fine. Now, a young boy and an older woman getting soaking wet together? I don't know about that. In this dress she has on, like, and she chose to wear that dress. If y'all want a kid so bad, let me go one right over there. That's the little boy from the bank. I haven't done anything like this since I was a little kid. Me neither. When can I see you again? Legs all out. I I'm having a party on Friday. It's for Mr. McIntosh. What is Mr. McIntosh's first name? 
You don't get a first name. It is his birthday. Well, great. It's a date then. I'm getting out up here. Good night, Preston. No! God, please, no! You know what you got, pal? S-T-Y-L-E. Stop. I do remember that. That backpack looking a little light, Preston. Zach and Josh and I are having the biggest birthday party ever. He just needed more attention from his family. Hey, where's Preston? He's working for Macintosh. Where's your other kids? Where's Damien and Ralph? They're working for Macintosh too. Yeah, you ain't shit. <laughs> Have you met Macintosh? No, I thought you met him. No, I haven't met him. Well, I haven't met him either. Keep him coming. Mr. Macintosh wants me to get plenty of practice. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's VR and AR. That thing is expensive. This contraption, that wonderful news. Mr. McIntosh's birthday is going to be the event of the century. Oh, yes, you do have money, darling. You want to walk around with this much money, darling. Somebody could just rip. Just like a black woman. I'll get the balance at the party, and Mr. McIntosh is good for it. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Henry. Uh, I was just wondering if you wanted to play some video games. I promised some friends I was going to meet him in a while. Later. See, again, friends, it's important. Money cannot buy you friendship, real friendship. Can't pay off your student loans. Absolutely. Hey, where all these kids come from? Keep driving and maybe someday I'll tell you. Go. Tim, what's the backpack? Go, go, go! go. 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 Shut up! Whoa. Isn't he an ex convict? Oh! Your butt is mine, kid! Come here! He's Come here! Oh, He's hey. got my money! Get it, get it, get it, get it! There you go! Come here, boy! Why on earth? Uh, see, the recklessness. Damn, yo, yo! It might be easier just to steal another million dollars. The most logical thing that has been said the entire Because you're doing a lot of stuff film. right now. Hello, Mr. Jackson. Well, 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 if it isn't the world's youngest personal injury attorney. Today, I have been drinking vodka. Mm. Tell him to take a... Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Is this to die or what? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Is I this don't... to die for or what? <laughs> what is this cost? What do you think it should cost? Lots. Lots. I don't think you get the picture, Sonny. Maybe you need a better view. So you're gonna risk going to prison. You know, eight old street hills down the other. Is something wrong? No, not at all. Is Mr. McIntosh around? Oh, no. But he will be here tonight. Yeah. In person. In person. I'll see you tonight. You're looking good. Mr. McIntosh. <laughs> Shut up! Did she ever, ever, just once, come by without saying, Meanwhile, I wonder if I could see Mr. McIntosh. She's a gold digger, man. She just wants McIntosh's money. You know what? Let's talk about this. Oh, she's a gold digger. As grown women, we also want men with money. And not children, as in immature men, with piggy banks. Yeah. If you're making fifty thousand dollars, don't date. You're not ready to date because courtship costs. You ever know any gold diggers? Everywhere. I hate them. They're the worst. No, nah, they're not that. Not anybody? the worst. Who is your friend? Because you have money, is not your friend at all. A fool and his gold are soon parted. I don't get them. I don't even know really what that means. You ever heard that? Uh, more than one way to skin a cat. That one. <laughs> Who skins cats? <laughs> I guess it means that if you're a fool, your gold or your money is soon gone. And once it's gone, it is out of there. You are living in Brokesville. Unless you have Macintosh's kind of money. Well, what if you don't? I guess then you find out who your real friends are. Hey, 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 kids, I'm touchy. It's from Mr. Macintosh's. Oh, go find your parents. Fuck you. Wow. It's his birthday. He knows none of these people. Shay. She'll be here somewhere. We bring the kid in, agreed? If Preston says Macintosh is gonna be there, Macintosh will be there. But you don't make a move until I give you the signal. We close this deal tonight. Where's the pizza and the ice cream? This could have been a pizza before it got run over by a couple trucks. It's stuck in the life out of me! It's stuck in the life out of me! Preston? Preston? Ice cream. Ice cream. It's time for Mr. Macintosh to make his appearance. Be quick about it. $100,000 to me like Macintosh is to just hit it. Me oh, my money. Go get your money. Preston, you definitely spent three on the house plus closing costs. Then he lost some when he was riding the bike. He's been paying Henry. Transaction not possible. Uh, 
Uh. Current balance three hundred thirty-two dollars seventeen cents. Transaction not efficient funds. Transaction oh, no. not. You went extra with that batting cage, didn't you? Nope. Broke again. Mr. McIntosh. Oh, sorry to bother you. Uh, it's Fred Waters. Preston's dad. I know you got a bash going on. You see, today is Preston's birthday, and if you see him, if you could send him home uh, a little early, money's become so important to him. And whose fault is that? I guess that's mostly my fault. Yeah. Trash-ass family. Trash-ass family. Raising a kid to be a trash-ass adult. I pushed him too hard. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Give him his own damn room. And you make plenty of money. Get a new fucking car. We appreciate you sending Preston home early. Run away. Dad, Dad. Just let it all just fall apart. I can't be perfect. Dad, that ugly. Can you tell me you can't car. see him in the rearview mirror? Right around, right wait, wait, where's Henry? He's gone. Now I know who my friends are. You weren't paying him any attention though, so. Mr. McIntosh? Mr. McIntosh? It's just me. It's very, very important that I find Mr. McIntosh right now. You could be in danger. Just go, okay? Get your necklace. Just take it and leave. See, this is what I'm talking about. Then y'all give us stuff, and then you try to turn it back on us? Like we asked for it? You did that yourself. Where is he? He might be down the street, and Mr. McIntosh is not his boss. You just got out of prison, and you now, break in open has doors. Now, what foggy front entrance like that? That you know, real. Did you get me my money? Uh, McIntosh has disappeared. If I don't get paid, I will sue Mr. McIntosh for every dime he is worth. Okay. Be sure and tell me when you find him. Everybody, this party's over. Mr. McIntosh is a fraud. She's right. McIntosh is gone, and he's not coming back. Close down the bar. <laughs> Take their presents back. They weren't even real friends, no way. They're a bunch of posers. They sure wouldn't. Get me back, you ass! Ah, ah, that is Black Woman Code 101. Salon Why she take told her hair? Don't touch my hair. Sega. <laughs> oh, Preston. The money would have been better spent if you were 20 years older and had a better social life. Henry? Henry! Happy birthday. I'm here to blow out your candles. Preston, how you work this? When you turn the knob. Why'd you break it though? There is no Mac in there. I made him up. Don't give me that. Who bought this house? This little bitty boy right here outbids you with your own money? <laughs> Where's my money? I, s I spent it. All of it? All of it. How could you spend a million dollars in six days? It was just six. It was just six days? We're thinking about this Macintosh thing in the wrong way. You needed a new house, a new identity. I mean, Macintosh could run for mayor here. There's only one problem with that. Hey! Ah! Ah! Oh, there's more action in this than I realize. Right down there. She was quiet through. What? What's that? Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh! It's over, kid. Ow! 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 Are you okay? I got you now! Please! Preston, are you okay? FBI, Biederman. Who's McIntosh? I'm McIntosh, and I want you all off my property now. I tell you, I'm McIntosh. Don't He's you know Mac Papa McIntosh, McIntosh and McIntosh. Big Mama McIntosh? Yeah. You be hanging out with the brother, you know? You're under arrest for fraud, money laundering, and grand theft. What are you talking about? What's this all? Get your hands me? off me. Can I see your badge? Shay Stanley, FBI. So that means our date, just for your job? Damn. Well, it started out like that. Don't leave it. I wouldn't have traded that night for anything. So when can I see you again, Shay? Never. Why don't you give me a call and say about 10 years? Five. Seven. Six. Okay, it's a date.
Are you okay? I just went to get Yeah, I'm fucked food. up right now. You want to split that hog and dogs with me? I guess uh, Macintosh is no more, huh? Tell him uh, that I I'm really going to miss him. Shoot 200. Do you think he knew? Of course. He was getting paid. It didn't matter. Macintosh wasn't. He wasn't who he thought he was. He shouldn't have done what he did. I mean, he shouldn't have fooled everybody. Ta-da! <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Be careful what you wish for. Got everything that I need right here. Poor shit. On the other hand. Let's give it a freckle scar. All right, folks. It is time for Brooke and I to give Disney's blank check its official freckle score. I'm still gathering my emotions here, so... Please disregard my face. I really wanted to give this movie a four. I thought this was going to be the first movie that I would have put in the four range. But those grooming scenes? Allie, you said it earlier. They were hard to watch. When he was on the date with Shay, that was uncomfortable. You know, kids have crushes on adults. That happens. But adults aren't supposed to play into it. That's the step, that's the process to grooming a child. And disgusting. And then at the end when she kissed this child on his lips. Y'all supposed to link back up? She's working for the FBI doing her next gig. You know, she probably, she got a good little raise because she went and found out about this Macintosh thing. She helped to go squash the whole thing. And then y'all gonna go out and celebrate after you become legal? That is fucking weird. This is what I'm talking about with media, training boys into men to think that they deserve whatever they want. And that's dangerous. Money doesn't buy happiness, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, money would buy me some happiness, some additional happiness. I say it would be full happiness, but it would give me some happiness. This little boy should be going to juvie. He should have been caught up in this too. <sighs> I have to give it a 3.25, 3.25 freckles. And I'm very, very disappointed about it. This should have been better than what it was. Pre-kiss, I was having a great time. The nerd in me was living their best life. I mean, the Macintosh computer, the virtual reality, the video games, the 5011 television screens, go-kart track in the back, pool, water slide, stocks, bonds, ETFs galore. I mean, every tech toy you could think of. I'm surprised Preston didn't open up a sharper image franchise his damn self. This reminds me of a time of privilege. And this is a different kind of privilege because we don't live in this type of world anymore where you can leave your front door unlocked, where kids just leave the house and you trust them to get back in time for dinner, where you're actually sitting at the dinner table. Even if there's not much to discuss, you're still at a communal place within the home where the family is gathering. And I was really, really, really reveling in those moments. Preston is very clever and clever kids with creative ideas and wild imaginations, the sky's the limit. Even the haagen moments, that's Brooke's favorite ice cream. Like I just love the brand awareness. As a creative, watching this today with a creative mindset, Shay is in bumfuck Indiana. This is probably a bullshit assignment and probably does have something to prove. Biederman stuck her working french fries at McDonald's. She did not have access to the second, third, or fourth floor. And here comes Preston rolling around in a limo. The boy came in the day before with a check for $11. Now he's riding around in a limousine. It's not rocket science, kids. It's just facts. I feel like at dinner, she had clues, but really had to stay and be very inquisitive. This man's never met me. He's buying me a diamond heart pendant necklace. The money is funny. I completely forgot about the kiss. Kiss ain't right. Preston, you worked hard. Thank you for helping us catch the fugitives. Here's a peck on the cheek. I'm not saying it's right, but I think the way Disney played it off is that she kissed the top part of his lip. She didn't kiss full lip lip. She kissed the top, top, top part and was probably kissing his nose as well. There had to have been some form of legal team, HR team, where the directors where they had to green light approving a scene like that. If this was Preston and another 12 year old girl kissing, it wouldn't have been a problem. I'm not giving that a pass. I'm just trying to add a little bit of perspective. If you see this and think that, oh my God, all these women running around the neighborhood are 
are going to steal your young boys and groom them into being their lovers when they're 18. Shay got government health insurance, government pension. Do you really think she going to need Preston's freckled ass? Welcome to Good Burger Homer the Good Burger. Can I take your order money when he's 18? I don't think so. Because of the kiss, I got to deduct a significant amount. It's going to be three and a half out of five freckles. Just skip the last three minutes of the last 10 minutes and you should be good. Thanks so much for tuning in to this latest episode of Two Freckled Friends. Let us know in the comments what you think of Blank Check. If you had a million dollars back in the 90s, would you blow it? Hell, would you blow it today? <laughs> Anything's possible. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red button, as well as tap that bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on TFF. You want some haagen girl? Yeah, that was disappointing. What flavor? Dolce de leche. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Do they have a good cookie dough flavor? I don't know if you know, Ben and Jerry's is know. a mean cookie dough. They do. I'm not sure about Hagen Dazs. Oh, they you know they have a good butter pecan, don't they? Or as my daddy says, butter pecan. Look, it's butter, butter pecan. pecan okay. Get into the groove. Let me show you some more. Best to take it from me. Get into the groove. <laughs>